This program is rated G and is suitable for general audiences. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Sarah, darling, how are you? Yes, I've heard all about the opening. This week? No, no, it won't be a problem. When are you planning on coming for a fitting? Today? I'll get my best tailor on it. Yes. No. Talk soon. Brooke, stop what you're doing. This is very important. Yes? Sarah Banks is a Broadway producer who's attending an opening. She is a very demanding client and she's coming in today. I need you to make one of our new dresses work. Got it. I love the color, but the dress feels a little flashy for me. Well, we could definitely adjust the neckline. And if we taper in the waistline, and give you a more traditional silhouette. Yes, that looks better. OK, perfect. And I will make sure that I hem it so that it is perfect for your height. You have a really good eye. Thank you. I'm hoping to become a designer myself. Well, I'll just be glad when the glitz and glamour is over and I can get back to Bucks County for the holidays. I grew up right by there, in Whispering Pines. We're practically neighbors. <laughs> we are. How's everything going? I think this dress might work. I said periwinkle, not whatever that is. The fitting went really well. Good. Your next fitting is at three. Is that a problem? No, no, not at all. I was just hoping that maybe you would have some time to take a look at some of my sketches. It would really mean a lot to me. I'm chock-a-block right now. Chock a Busy. Oh, OK. Remind me later. OK. Thank you. Is that it? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, 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 not today. Hello? Hey, sweetie. So I made a fruit cake, and your father claims he doesn't like it. They're like cherry-flavored bricks. And yet he continues to eat it. <laughs> Only to amuse my wife. <laughs> I am so excited to see you guys. Oh, honey, we can't wait to see you either. And to meet Ethan. You know, I think you guys are really going to like him. He likes the holidays so much, I call him Mr. Christmas. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> Sounds like a great guy. I'm so excited that we're all going to be together so soon. And you know, I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning. Only more excited. Oh, honey. OK, well, listen, I love you. Love you, too. Love you. OK, bye. Love you, too. Hey, come on up. Hey, so it's not your Christmas <gasps> present, but. Oh, you got the candle I like. Yes, and? And the wine glasses. Yeah, I thought you could use them for your friend's mess party. Is that laser one of your designs? Oh, yeah. Nina is finally going to look at some of my sketches today, so I thought I would give her a preview. I was looking over everything last night, but I am so nervous. Everyone wants cutting edge. When I was at the Design Institute, classic wasn't considered a dirty word. Well, I love your work. Thank you. I just feel like I've been putting in all of this effort, and I'm still at square one. Give yourself a break. But hey, on a lighter note, um, Ethan is taking me for dinner before your party tonight. Oh. Oh, he doesn't strike me as the Santa type. Well, it was a charity event for his boss's wife. Who knows? Mr. Christmas might just be the one. the attention to detail. But this place isn't ahead of the curve. We define the curve. Right. That blazer you're wearing is a Chanel throwback? Actually, it's one of my own. Style is informed by celebrities these days. There needs to be a bigger impact. Subtlety is a lost art. You should rethink your designs. Oh. OK. Well, um, thank you for your time.
You know, the history of fashion shouldn't be ignored. There's a lot to be learned about the past and how it shapes who we are and what we wear. Hmm. Is that it? Yes. At least I stood my ground, you know? Told her what I really thought. What about you? How was your day? The new client? I roughed out the plans for the house, which she approved. That's great. Why so glum? We should be celebrating. Thing is, I'm gonna be really busy with this project. Oh, how busy? I, I can't get away for the holidays. Well, maybe just for a couple of days. Whispering Pines is only two hours away. It's not just about work. Okay, well, what else is it about? Brooke, I think that we're moving too fast. Um, well, I appreciate your honesty, but your timing couldn't be worse. It's too soon for me to meet your family. And all that that implies? It implies a future, which I gather you don't want. I'm just not ready. My career, it's taken off. Uh, I'm gonna be traveling a lot. Not to Whispering Pines with me. You know, I'm starting to feel like this is more about you having someone to take home for the holidays than it is about me. I'm sorry, Brooke. Brooke. I'll have to rush off. Merry Christmas, Ethan. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yeah. I just love this time of year. Mm. <laughs> I get it. The uh, the holidays can be stressful sometimes. They can be. I'm going to a friends' party. Megan and Larry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I guess that makes us friends. Yes, so. Joel. Brooke. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, are you always this jolly? That's a seasonal thing. Yeah, it used to be that way. What happened? Don't ask. Come on, cheer up. It's a party. Come on up. <sighs> Ladies first. <laughs> Thank you. It's the holidays. It's a party. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's just when you pour everything into a career that's not working. And your relationship fizzles right before the holidays. Insecurity feels like the only option. Did you tell your mom about Ethan? No, not yet. So anyway, he walks into the audition, nails it. Feedback has been great. OK, I, I still have to read again, so. After the holidays, but I'm telling you, major buzz around town. OK, and I have to meet with the director. Yeah, it's a formality. It's his. Listen to me. This is no more bit parts, no more commercials. This could be a major game changer for you. You are more excited about this thing than I am. Well, yes, because I'm your agent. I get 15%. 10. OK, fine. I'll take the rest in pride. Damn. Larry's the best. Yeah. Hello again. Hi. You having a good time? Yeah. I don't think quite as much as you, though, with your perpetual smile. I'm an actor. <laughs> I'm always auditioning as a professional hazard. An actor? That's cool. I am sorry that I'm in such an unmerry mood. Yeah, you said don't ask, so I won't. Career, relationship, you name it. Let's take it in order. What do you do? I'm a designer with no immediate prospects, hence my current employment as an overqualified tailor. <laughs> It's, uh, it's like that way with acting. I've waited tables just to pay rent. <sighs> and what about your relationship? Uh, um, my boy, uh, ex-boyfriend and I broke up a few hours ago. Just in time for the holidays, so. Ooh, wow. There, there should be a, a, a law against that. No broken hearts in December allowed. <sighs> so, what is this part you're up for? Thank you. Uh, well, it's, uh, he's a guy trying to get by in a changing world. Oh, aren't we all? Yeah, he's from a he's from a small town, like really small, like the one in It's a Wonderful Life. She's from a small town too, Whispering Pines, Pennsylvania. Yeah, everyone knows everyone. Oh wow, I'm I'm from the city, so you know, born and raised. So it's a bit of a stretch, but I can pull it off, right? Yes, you can. <laughs> and uh, you know, the character runs his family's hardware store. Oh yeah, my my <laughs> uncle runs the hardware store in Whispering Pines. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, hold <laughs> on. Wait a second. 
you should go to this place to get a feel for small town life. Well, that's a little overboard, don't you think? No, not at all. The director loves authenticity. He would be very impressed if you did that type of research. Trust he me. He could be the boyfriend you're bringing home for the holidays. Oh, uh, no, I, no. I, my parents think that they're meeting an architect named Ethan, so. Wait a second. That's, that's nothing. Joel can pull off being an architect. He's an actor. Watch this. Ethan. Ethan. Ethan, Ethan, uh, Ethan. Hi. hi, I'm Ethan the Architect. <laughs> to Ethan the Architect. Cheers. 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 It's not such a crazy idea. Actually, it is. It seems like a win-win to me. I'm telling you, this could be good for you. Oh, the fact that I am even considering this is a little unnerving. Is that my friend or my agent talking? Okay, both, both. Come on, B, take a chance. It could be fate. You know, Brooke is a great girl. It's my mom. Oh, okay. Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. When are you arriving? Because I was thinking we could all go for brunch and then, well, we'd meet Ethan. Look, you don't have to sell me, Larry. I'm, um, I'm intrigued. Nervous, aren't you? About us meeting your boyfriend. Okay, okay, let's talk career then, okay? Honey, he is crazy about you. He is crazy about Christmas, so I like him already. This audition matters, right? Big part, classy movie. Brooke? You owe it to yourself to go the extra mile. I'm sorry, I know I'm going on and on, but I'm just so excited. I'm telling you, Denzel would be halfway to Whispering Pines by now. I can't wait for you to meet Ethan. <laughs> we'll be there tomorrow. Okay. I love you. Me too. I can't believe we're doing this. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I, uh, I don't get out of the city much. There's not a whole lot of cows roaming around Manhattan. No. You know, maybe, uh, maybe you should tell me a little more about Ethan. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an architect, he's, he's an athlete, but, you know, what, what, what makes him tick? Apparently, it wasn't me. Why'd you break up? I'm not entirely sure if that's relevant. I'm an, I'm an actor. I like to know these things. Well, in this scenario, Ethan and I are still together. So. <sighs> Sorry, I, uh, I get a little nervous before performance. This isn't a performance, this is my life. Well, for, for me it is. I mean, you get you get to play you. Look, things will work out fine with your family. They, they, they will buy me as Ethan and their holidays will remain intact. You know what, we're a little early. Why don't we stop and get a coffee? Yeah. Whispering Pines does not disappoint. Yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Yeah, I didn't even know towns like this existed. It's like something out of a Capra movie. Mm -hmm. Frank Capra did all those classics about small town America. I mean, this is why I want this role so bad. It's about people and how they relate. Well, you're about to relate to my entire family. Well, my inner Ethan is ready to roll. <sighs> so, your mom is Donna, yes. your dad is Walter. What are they like? Very sweet, very small town. And they've been married for 35 years and they still hold hands. Oh, that is so sweet. What does your dad do? Oh, well, he had a construction company. He's retired now. But he has a very gruff exterior. But he is all heart, so. Sounds like my dad. <laughs> what about your family? How come you don't spend the holidays with them? Well, my parents are both actors, so they're on the road doing a play. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Brooke? Oh! Cheryl! I thought it was you. Hi! <laughs> so good to see you. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, this is my boyfriend, Ethan. Oh. Ethan Reinhardt, architect. You look so familiar. Is it your first time in Whispering Pines? Yes, yes it is. You know what, and Brooke has told me so much about it, I'm finally gonna get to meet Walter and Diane. Yeah. Donna, Walter and Donna. <laughs> Kidding. It's so funny. Jokes. He's constantly cracking me up. <laughs> uh, it was great to run into you, though. Yes. Very nice to meet you, Ethan Reinhardt. Architect. You got it. One. <laughs> One and only. 
I am so sorry. I, 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 I wasn't fully prepared. And who is she? Oh, that's Cheryl. Oh. Yeah. We went to high school together. We were friends. Which I say in the broadest sense of the term. Okay. Well, a bad dress rehearsal means a great show. You grew up here? Home sweet home. I can't do this. What? What are you doing? Where's she going? It's past the point of no return. Come on. It's showtime. Hello. Hi. Sweetheart. Hi, Oh, my dad. Sorry, I'm still getting the hang of that auto park. Oh, <laughs> my, my mom. <laughs> so good to see Ed, you. And you must be Ethan. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. That is so European. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad. Good to meet you, sir. Oh. 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 Well. I sure hope you're both hungry because I've made enough food for an army. <laughs> Can I help you with the bags? Oh, no, sir. I've got it. Walter. Ethan. No, I mean, you can call me Walter. Yes, sir, Walter it is. You know, I'm just really excited that we're all home for Christmas. I mean, you're not home for Christmas. You're at our home for Christmas. And by our home, I mean their home. And we are so excited to be here. This is, this is better than I ever imagined. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Let's go in and eat. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Ethan, do you have any brothers or sisters? Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, uh, just me. Brooke and Ashley have always been so close. Yeah, my big sister is my role model, and she was the prom queen. The grace not to rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bit much, but I'll take it. Good. <laughs> yeah, Ashley and I can't wait for you to see the new house. We're remodeling the whole thing. And as an architect, I'm sure you can understand, it is a total nightmare. Oh, yes. Yeah, it is taking forever. We're still staying with Mom and Dad. Mm. Ethan, you bunk with Glenn. I'd love to get your opinion. Um, I'm okay with it, if you're okay with it. Hmm? Hmm? What? No, your opinion on the house. I'd love to show you the plans, get that expert point of view. What were you... What's going on with you, Tessa? I'm auditioning for a play. You are? What's it about? Family being together at Christmas, just like us. I really, really want to play Emily. I've been practicing all the lines. Well, hey, if you need any help with that, I'm your man. Because I took theater in college. Oh. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I gotta run to the office. Oh, Glenn. It's 24-7 these days. Not so fast, bub. Oh, man. We still haven't finished putting the lights up on the roof. Right. Of course, the, the lights. What was I thinking? Uh, okay. Well, hey, maybe, maybe Ethan can help. I, I'm sure he's got a much better eye than I do. Yeah? Uh, if you want to put uh, some lights up, I'm your man. Thank you, Ethan. Well, come on, this smells so good. Let's eat. Yes, please. <laughs> what are you going to have? Hey, just a heads up. Walter can be a tough nut to crack. But keep cracking. You know, the funny thing is, uh, there's something very familiar about you. Oh, if I had a nickel every time I heard that. Hey, um, how come there's not a Christmas tree in the living room? It's only a week until Christmas. Because it's the family Christmas tree and we decorate as a family. Ah, uh, decorations, tinsel, lights, I can only imagine. Imagine? What? What? Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go do those dishes, they're not gonna do themselves. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll go get the lights. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How come my dad thinks you look familiar? Oh, I, uh, have a shaving cream commercial running right now. Well, that's great, Jimmy Stewart. How about we try to, uh, stay in character? Hmm? Okay. Oh, good luck with my dad. <sighs> Jimmy Stewart. Ethan! And then I'll... You've got to make sure each light is clipped on tight. Hey, Walter, all due respect, sir, I'm an architect. I got this. 
There. There you go. Architect, huh? Ethan is wonderful, Brooke. The way he just pitches in and he helps your dad with the lights. And when he offered to help Tessa. I think Mr. Christmas <laughs> might be a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Good, good. You know, I just, I wanted to, uh, just give it some artistic flair. Uh -huh. Make it original, right? It's interesting. I'm sure it'll look better at night. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I have some shopping to do in town. Do you want to come with me? Yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yes. This is exactly what I was imagining when I read the script. Ah, all the actors that I admire do this kind of research. Becoming the character. OK, please, just don't be too intense in front of my uncle. He thinks you're my boyfriend. Oh, hi, Brooke. Hi. This must be Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Hank. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. How long have you uh, had this place? It was my dad's. And my brother, Walter, went into construction, but we grew up in this place. That is that is that is perfect. It is if you like hardware. Such a wonderful feel. I can uh, sense the history. I think you need to get out of the city more. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I keep telling them that, but Ethan is just such a diehard New Yorker. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. Hey, I really need you to be a little bit more subtle, okay? This is a regular hardware store. No gushing over the hammers and nails. Okay, I am a, a method actor. That's good for you, but I really need you to take this seriously. I got it. I'm just going to go do some shopping. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. That's my girl. <laughs> so, Hank, let's talk tools. Do you sell Christmas trees? I do. Uh, I want the biggest, uh, the biggest, greenest one you've got. I'm, I'm in town for the holidays. It's a gift for the host. I have a real nice one right over here. Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, big. How big? Surprise! I got a tree. A family tree? Uh-huh. Well, normally we'd do this together. It's a bit of a family tradition, but but thank you. I mean, this is um so nice. Will it even fit in the door? Well, I got I got the biggest one in the lot. Yeah, you mean the biggest one in the state. Glenn, we've got some work to do. <laughs> I I am pulling. You ah! call that pulling? I'm pulling! Put your back into it. I'm pulling! <laughs> Need a bigger tree stand. Yeah, or a bigger house. Well, why don't we just have dinner and then we can figure this all out tomorrow? It's the prettiest tree I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> Want to help Grandma make dinner? Yes, come on. I know you meant well. I got so excited. Dad, this is my first tree. You've never had a Christmas tree? Well, not until now. I'm Jewish. Oh, okay. Uh, why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't think it was relevant. No, normally it wouldn't be. However, we came here to celebrate Christmas with my family. Who loves Christmas? They think you're Ethan. They think Ethan loves Christmas. Brooke. It's gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. My family thinks Ethan is Mr. Christmas. Okay, that might be a problem. Just a little one. But hey, it's a, a point for your, um, Performance. I still think I can pull this off. Okay. How? Well, I've never celebrated Christmas before, but I always wanted to. 
you know, the perfect storybook version, right? Decorate the tree, the stockings on the mantle, Christmas cookies, candy canes, sleigh rides, all the fun stuff. It always seems so great to me. It is fun when it's not too complicated. It's a holiday. Let's enjoy it. What could go wrong? I hope you like ham. I've never had ham. It's an interesting plot twist. Hmm? <sighs> Emily is really strong. She refuses to give up. Okay. You got this. Or should I forget my lines? Don't worry about your lines. You know what? Use the script as sort of a loose guideline. Say what you feel. <clears throat> Actually, I spent the last six months of my life working on this, so I'd appreciate it if you stuck to the lines. Tess, are you ready? Ugh, writers. Go get them. so good with her. Well, she's a great kid. <laughs> Emily, what are you doing? I'm making you a Christmas present. A special magical one for one. Well, I can't wait to see it. Not until Christmas morning. You promise you're coming home? I promise. Great job. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, there's other people here. You are great. She is fantastic. I know, I'm just nervous. Auntie Brooke! Yeah? I get to play Emily! Mazel tov! What? Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Tessa. Thanks for all the help, Ethan. <laughs> My pleasure. I need to ask a favor. Okay. My wife was doing the costumes for the play, but she got a terrible flu. I was hoping you could help out. Okay, well, uh, what kind of costumes do you need? It's a period piece, the 1920s. I don't know, Roger, that's a pretty tall order. We're really in a bind. I'll do what I can. Thanks. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. Uh, you look so familiar. Have you ever met? What kind of shaving cream do you use? I realized I haven't properly introduced you two. Roger and I went to high school together, and Ethan is an architect from New York. Nice to meet you. You as well. I'm an architect. <laughs> well, I better get back to work. I can't thank you enough. Oh. That smile is all the thanks I need. <laughs> Hey! Hi! I thought I'd do a little baking. Oh. Ooh, maybe... What? Any chance at a gingerbread house? Now that is a wonderful idea. I haven't made one of those in years. And we have an architect who can design it. Mm -hmm. I am more of a brick and mortar guy. But I'd love to. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are such a delight to uh, have here. Okay. All right. I will show you mine. But you have to show me yours first. Okay. <laughs> wow. You are an artist. Thank you. <laughs> Ta-da! You are an actor. <laughs> it's just a little bit boxy. Well, it's my first <laughs> gingerbread house. You know, I'm, I'm not an architect. I'm an actor playing a role. So why did you become an actor? That's a family business. Unfortunately for me, I absolutely love it. So I take it you've played all kinds of roles? Oh, yes. Everything from Shakespeare to commercials. But Mr. Christmas is by far the most fun. <laughs> I am really glad I'm here. Hello! Mom. Hope I'm not interrupting. Nope. I made some icing for the trim and the roof. Ah. Mr. Christmas. Oh, why, <laughs> thank you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Let's get baking. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering if we should move the chimney. Mm. How's that? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Okay. Well, that's a very unusual design. Well, Ethan wanted it to be an original, okay. so. Huh. Well, it's original, all right. 
edible roofs can be extremely complicated. Yeah, and Ethan's ideas, I mean, they are big concepts, you know, big ideas, mm. so. Real big. You are doing such a good performance, we might actually get away with this. You sure there's nothing I can do to help? Oh, I'm positive. Just relax. Later, we're gonna decorate the tree. Dinner was great, Mom. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. It was wonderful, darling. <laughs> hey, look. The gingerbread house is done. I don't think gingerbread is his medium. Mm. Where is Ethan, anyway? I thought I'd get a head start, and I am having a ball. You're decorating the family tree. How's it look? Good, but it's just it's supposed to be for the, the whole family, right, Wally? Walter. Yep. Normally, we all do it, but we can all just start again. Walter, come in the kitchen and help me. Mm. So glad I'm not the new guy anymore. I was just trying to help. I know. For the best in men's grooming products, you've never had well, to well, 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 well. Wait for it. So, so smooth. smooth. Okay. You know what's not so smooth? Huh. So you just ate all the popcorn. No. It's re really, really good. I usually like it with butter, but this is delicious. Yes, delicious. That's the popcorn we usually use to string on the Christmas tree. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize. It's okay. <laughs> Glenn? Yep. Yeah. Your family thinks I am really bad at Christmas and they have no idea why. Maybe we should tell them. That you're not my boyfriend? That I'm Jewish. You don't have to be any particular religion to decorate a tree or, or, or feel a sense of goodwill. Or make a lopsided gingerbread house. Look, Ethan has nothing on me except a little bit of practice. I really hope you're not acting right now. Ethan, this is my favorite tradition. Gathered around the piano, singing Christmas carols with my family. <laughs> Just me and my girls. <laughs> Do you sing? Um, yeah, I could, I could carry a tune. <clears throat> Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Ethan. You don't know the song. Deck the halls. You didn't sing Christmas carols as a kid? No, uh, but, but I always wanted to. Your parents just went into it, or? Well, they, uh, they sang other songs. What do you mean? I'm Jewish. Oh, Mr. Christmas is Jewish. He's Jewish. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I kept telling Brooke mm -hmm. how excited I was to come here and celebrate Christmas for the first time with you all, so she gave me the nickname. <laughs> it's, it's been more fun than I, I ever imagined. Oh, I hope so. I just wanted you to feel at home. Oh, you have, you do. That's, that's cool. So you celebrate Hanukkah? Yeah, that's right. Maybe we can celebrate both holidays. <laughs> oh, that is the best idea ever. You know, maybe you can teach me some songs and I, I could teach you a few. Yeah. Hey, Dad. It's, um, it's time to light our tree. Ethan, would you like to do the honors? I would love that. Three, two, two one. one. Ha, 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 ha.
After we dropped us off at the theater, we stopped by the deli and got some bagels and lox. Nice. Wow, that looks yeah. delicious. Mm -hmm. Question, when exactly is Hanukkah? Starts in two days. Which is three days before Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's right, and that is a lot of celebrating. And I am making a Hanukkah list for all the things I still need to get. Always with the lists. <laughs> you know, we have been in a rut, and now that Ethan is here, he's just brought the life right back into the holidays. Wow. Hey, uh, we were hoping that we could maybe swing by our new place. We, we'd love to get your professional opinion. We want to build a portico. We're not sure. <laughs> a portico? Yeah. yeah. You know what, actually, um, I needed to go get some fabric for some of the costumes, and Ethan, Ethan was gonna help me, so. Yeah. Well, just for a few minutes. You wanna see the house, right? Mm-hmm. All right, home sweet home. This is it. So, uh, Ethan, do you think a, a portico would work over the back door? Yeah, sure, I don't see why not. It's, um... And they just started work on the kitchen, so you're going to kind of have to use your imagination. Yeah. Oh, uh, and we wanted to put in a bay window somewhere. Any ideas? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, how about here? Oh, you can't put it there. Huh? It's a bearing wall. Yeah, I'm just I'm thinking out loud. It's, it's part of my process. Like I, I, I just draw them, <laughs> build them. Right. Oh, hey, what do you think of the gables? I'm on the fence about the gables. You know what? Um, why don't we go check out upstairs? Yeah? Yeah. yeah? It's just... Okay. Uh... How does an architect not understand structure? I think you just make him nervous, Dad. Yeah, I guess. Larry called while I was at the hardware store. There are only five actors in contention for the role. That's amazing. Yeah. Your uncle thinks I'm a little weird, but I'm starting to fit in. What are these? Oh, um, well, this is for Tessa, or Emily, and this one is for Emily's mother. These are amazing. Thank you. Wow. Um, did you always want to be a designer? Mm-hmm. Always. I saw Cinderella when I was a little kid, and for me, it was all about the dress. I ran home, and I made a ball gown. There was so much satin and tulle, and I wore it for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same way about acting. I mean, you, you wore the dress. I carried the sword. I was a seven-year-old swashbuckler. <laughs> You have a really pretty smile. Thank you. I seem to be growing into this role. Yeah, that's, that's good. I think. I guess. <laughs> I find you very confusing. Yeah, so is this situation. You know, I'm as confused as you are. I'm gonna go get some hot chocolate. Can I get you anything? No, I'm good. Thanks. Sure, see it better if these glasses weren't so dirty. Oh, here, let me give you a hand with those. I uh, love props. Props? Uh, glasses. Every season, every sport, I always root for the home team. <laughs> Phillies, Eagles, 76ers. Support the best in men's grooming products. Uh, thank you. You've never had a shave as close as this. Here you go. There you are. So smooth. The Christmas Bowl is brought to you by All Natural. What's so smooth? You, sir. So smooth.
need one wish this year for all of us to be together again. And scene. You are wonderful. You know, you and Emily have a lot in common. Why don't you try to pretend you're talking to your own family? Maybe I can be an actress someday. Well, you already are. You just keep on doing what you're doing, and the audience will believe everything. If you feel it, so will they. She really likes you. Uh, I just have to go get something for one of the costumes. Yeah, I, uh, I, I have some shopping to do in town. Maybe I'll, uh, bump into you. Great. Okay. Well, I should get going. You like her, too? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Have you got her gift yet? That is next. But first, let's get these acting exercises. Try to do as I do. Ready? Where were we? <laughs> Looking for a slip to go underneath a costume that I'm making. We have several that might work. It's probably about that length and fullness. Okay. Wow. That is a beautiful dress. Are you married? Not yet. When you get married, you know where to come. <laughs> I guess so. They're over here. Perfect. Thanks again. Uh, so Brooke goes into a bridal shop. And then he just, maybe he bought her a ring. Holy Hanukkah. We gotta tell mom and dad. Yeah, this is big. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to know about this yet, but Ethan and Brooke are engaged. They're engaged? Why do you sound so surprised? They've been dating for six months. What? No, that's how long it took you to propose to me. Yeah, but. All right, he seems nice enough, but there's just something that just isn't right. He's a bit of an odd duck. What on earth does that mean? Uh, I can't quite put my finger on it. Walter, we have to let her go. Why hasn't she said anything to us? Probably because she knows her father isn't ready. Mwah. You have to watch your cholesterol. Mmm. Can you, can you tell me what it is? <laughs> Just wait. You're gonna love this. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. A little more. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. And stop. Okay. Surprise! Wow. Hmm? I think he's bigger than the tree. Yeah. <laughs> you really are growing into the role of Mr. Christmas. I told you I could do it. <laughs> you know, this town is just so inspiring. Thank you for doing this. It's my pleasure. Now, everything about Whispering Pines is... It's magical. <laughs> we should get inside. Mom? Dad? Uh, hi. Is there something you want to tell us? What do you mean? There's no use denying it. We already know. You do? Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. I wanted to tell you so many times. Yeah, so, so did I. It's all right. It is? Yes. You are engaged, and we could not be happier. Oh. I hope that you didn't want to keep it a secret. Yeah, no <laughs> chance. Word travels fast in this family. Yeah. You need to tell me everything about your dress. Can I be a flower girl? OK. Yes. Did you plan a date? Because we have to book the venue. We've got flowers. Do you want a singer? OK. Well, um, I was thinking of Hawaii. You take good care of my little girl. Yes, sir. Two words. Bachelor party, right? Hey. I, 
have no idea what to tell my family or how. And now they think we're engaged. That makes this even harder. How do we ever reverse course from this point? I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to ruin anybody's Christmas, including my own. Yeah, and now my mom is really excited about celebrating Hanukkah, too. We have to keep the performance going. It is, it is the same storyline with an unexpected twist. Hi, Mom. Oh, look at you two holding hands on the left seat, just like me and your dad. <laughs> so, what do you think of this? Made it myself. I found all of these fabulous Hanukkah arts and crafts online. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it is, and it's only just begun. <laughs> <laughs> she has a glue gun. Can I get a ginger tea and a coffee? Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. <sighs> you know, all anyone wants to talk about is you and me. Oh, yes, I know. I was, uh, I was hiding out in a hardware store, and your dad came in and told Hank we were engaged. Oh, great. How are we ever going to get out of this? Well, we, uh, we have some time go by, say things didn't work out, and we break up. Ooh, don't tell your parents it was me. I, I, I don't want them to be mad at me. I wouldn't worry. They love you. They love Ethan. They don't know Ethan. It's you they love. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, I like them too. A lot. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish this were real. Brooke! Oh, hi, Cheryl. I hear that you guys are engaged. Yes, oh. yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. I want to get a picture of you guys. Hashtag my former bestie with her fiance. Uh, you know, we should probably get going. I have like a million presents to wrap. Yes, so many presents. Okay, well, I better be invited to the wedding. You got it. <laughs> Hashtag Ethan Reinhardt. Hashtag unbelievable. These costumes are amazing. Thank you. Would you mind trying on this jacket for me? I just need to fix the collar. Sure. Oh, well, you're definitely taller than Roger, but how does it feel? It's a perfect fit. Wow, look at you. Well, Emily's father is a soldier. Oh, sorry. Try one of these. <laughs> mm. Hello. Hey, Brooke. I got tagged in a photo. Apparently, you and I are supposed to be engaged. That? Thank you for letting me know. There's a photo of you and another guy, but it's my name. That is very interesting. As far as I know, we broke up. That is a very good point. That's all you have to say. Uh, is it possible for us to discuss this after the holidays? Well, I'd like to discuss it now. No, 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 I, I'm sorry, that won't be possible. Thank you so much for calling. Who's that? Uh, just a designer who's looking for an assistant, but I, I'm past that. Mm. Snacks look good. Want that one? Mm. We wish you a Merry Christmas. 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 And Ethan, I have something for you. It's early. Wow! But I couldn't wait. Mom! Wow. Good start. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the holidays with us. Love the Millers. What is it? Oh. Menorah. What's that? Well, this is for celebrating the eight days of Hanukkah. We light a candle every night. Can I light one? Well, not until <laughs> tomorrow. That's because tomorrow is the first night of Hanukkah, and then three days later, Christmas. You know, as crazy family holidays go, this one's pretty great. You're right again, Walter. You're right again. <laughs> uh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Mm. 
Well, this is a very messy <laughs> and delicious change of pace. <laughs> Thank you. How come you make jelly donuts? Well, the oil that we fry them in represents the miracle of the oil. That's because there was only a tiny amount of oil in the temple, but it lasted for eight nights. The same as Hanukkah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, what are these? Sufganiyots. Uh, Sufganiyot. What he said. <laughs> Have one. You'll love them. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh, after you? Yep. Alter. Sufganiyot. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm sold. <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. Hanukkah tastes just as good as Christmas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love these when I was a boy. Get a little. Uh, yeah. Where'd you grow up? Mm. In New, New Haven, New Connecticut. And does your family live there? Yes. Yes, they do. Well, they must be awfully proud of you. Mm -hmm. This is how the holidays ought to be. All of us here together. Oh. <laughs> Ethan, hmm. can you teach us another song? That's a great idea. Yeah. Of course I can. Ready? Yeah. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Come on, what are you guys doing? Stay <laughs> <up. Yeah. laughs> Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Again, again, again. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Hey. I was knocking, no one answered. Can I help you? Yes, uh, who are you? Well, I'm Ethan. Who are you? <clears throat> Ethan. Oh, there's two Ethans. Yeah. Um, I didn't think you were going to be able to make it. Uh, everyone, this is Ethan. We went to fashion school together, and uh, he is here visiting his family in Harrisburg. I, I know you're really busy, but I'd love to catch up. Uh, Ethan, can I get you some eggnog? Yes, no, thanks. <laughs> It's very confusing having two Ethans in my life. Yeah, I'll bet. You know, but now they get to meet, so. I, I, I've heard so much about you, Ethan. I wish I could say the same. I have to go into town to get some fabric. Maybe we could stop and have lunch? We have so much to talk about. We certainly do. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Ethan. Nice to meet you. Happy Hanukkah. I have a meeting with a client in Philly, but you were so evasive on the phone, I had to stop by and see you. You gotta imagine my surprise when I find out that I'm already here. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ethan. And incredibly embarrassed. I'm just trying to process this. How did the other Ethan happen? His name is Joel Parker. I met him at Megan and Larry's friend's Miss Party. He's an actor. So you hired an actor to pretend that they were me? Yeah. I, I, I know it sounds crazy. I just... I was so tired of coming home alone for the holidays, and I wanted Whispering Pines to see me with my very own holiday date. I get it, but... That's extreme. I know. And I've made such a mess of this. And now I've involved my parents and Joel. And they really like him. So do I. Exactly what is your relationship? We're just friends. Are you sure about that? Because I hate how things ended like that. So maybe we... Ethan. You were right about us. We're not meant to be together. I'm really sorry I got you into this. No. No. It's my fault. The way things ended right before the holidays. I hope you have a really nice Christmas. I'll be working through it. Well, I hope that goes well. <laughs> You're a really special person. 
Jack. You deserve the best. And stop worrying about what other people think about you. This is a way better goodbye than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop you off. Okay. I was starting to worry here. You haven't heard anything about the movie? I will let you know as soon as I do. Any other auditions out there? No, no, everything's shut down, including myself, but maybe after the holidays. Uh, how's it going out there? Uh, yeah, the research is helpful. I, I, I feel like I have some sense of the character. Yes! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Dig in, we're gonna get paid for acting. Amazing. So, listen, Megan is as curious as I am. How's it going with Brooke? It's going okay. I didn't expect it to mean so much to me. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for the update. Keep me posted. Joel? Ethan, you gotta come outside and check out the snowman we're building. Yeah, maybe later. Oh, is, uh, is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, uh, just business. Okay, I see what's going on here. You're in filings, right? I get it. I'm an accountant. I'm gonna put an accountant once. Pardon? What? What? Tasso, the marshmallows are ready! Hey, I just left Ethan inside. Something's going on. He seems kind of off. Do you think they had a fight? I don't know. Maybe you should talk to Brooke. Okay. So glad that we don't fight. Ooh, those look good. Yep. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Very warm. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Is everything okay with you and Ethan? Yeah. Why do you ask? Just relationships can be complicated, especially during the holidays. Mm, incredibly complicated. Glenn and I have our ups and downs. You guys seem like the perfect couple. <laughs> um, there is no such thing. You know, the house was costing too much, and we worked too many hours taking time away from Tessa. It all takes its toll. So I'm living in your shadow, and you have clay feet. I am mixing my metaphors, but I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I have problems like everyone else. I'm just better at hiding mine. Okay, and now you are being wise and caring. How am I supposed to live up to that? You're, you're coming into your own. I mean, I crunch numbers all day. And you're so creative. And now you have this amazing guy. Okay, that was a compliment. Why the frown? There's something I need to tell you. It's the first night of Hanukkah, and Ethan says I get to light the menorah. That's great, Tessa. Come on. What do you need to tell me? Oh, just that it's it's the first night of Hanukkah. Come on, it's candle time. Okay. Hey, it's almost time to light the candles. What's wrong? You have a really nice family. Yeah. And a really nice boyfriend. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad that worked out. <sighs> I meant you, not Ethan. I was downtown. I saw you guys. Joel, it's not what you think. We were saying goodbye for good. I was never in love with Ethan. I was just in love with the idea of him. Now, what's your idea of me? That you're funny and caring and you really, really like the holidays. <laughs> yeah. I just wish you could be you. Yeah, well, that's, that's my idea of you. <laughs> funny, I can barely tell us apart. I am... Uh, I'm an actor. I, I know who I am. <laughs> I'm noticing that this conversation is all about you, Mr. Actor. Really? <laughs> your town, your family, your boyfriend, it's all about me, huh? Uh-huh. <gasps> uh-huh. Oh, it's on. <laughs> 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 <sighs>
It's fun being you and me. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. And just when we thought it couldn't get any more complicated. And then it does. <laughs> oh, you are getting dead. <laughs> Baruch Hata Adonai, Eloheinu Melch HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu Bamitzvah Hotav, Vitzivanu Lehadlik Ner Shehel Hanukkah. This is such a nice tradition. May love and light fill your heart this joyous season. Amen. <laughs> Does this mean you get to open presents now? <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. Do you want to go find one? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some work. It's all in the wrist. <laughs> oh, show off. Mm. <laughs> oh, <gasps> what'd you get? Shin. Yeah, <laughs> more guilt. Guilt? Not that kind of guilt. Guilt. Chocolate coins covered in gold. Yeah, that Tessa. makes sense. Tessa, yeah. you are up. <laughs> Rocks. <laughs> I do too. This is what Emily's mother wears. Brooke, I can't believe you made this. Thanks. Oh, we are having so much fun. I just wish we could include Ethan's family. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, they went away for the holidays. Well, why don't I just go? Nope. Well, um, you can't, because they went on a cruise. Oh. That's nice. Yes. Hello? That's pretty great. Why? Okay, yeah, I'll let Tessa know. Roger just canceled the rehearsal. I still need to fit all of the costumes. Well, Connecticut must be beautiful this time of year. Yeah, yeah, all the, uh, trees. No. Yeah. Well, how come you're not uh, spending the holidays with your family? Huh? Uh, no, Brooke wanted us to uh, come down here so I could uh, meet you guys. Oh, well, it's not all that far. I could maybe drive down for the day. Yeah, that'd be great, but I, uh, I, I can't reach them right now. Yeah, why not? Well, they're out of town. They're uh, on safari. They love to travel. We have to go to the theater. As you can tell, I can barely be heard. I'm afraid we're going to have to call off the performance tomorrow night. What? This is gonna break Tessa's heart. All those beautiful costumes you made? It's okay. No, it's not. My first Christmas won't have an unhappy ending. Why can't I play the father? No, I, I, I've been rehearsing with Tessa. I know all the lines. But you're an architect do you really think you can pull it off i can give it a go no mm -mm. you know as far as architects go ethan's a pretty good actor <laughs> hey, look the, the the play is a tradition as as old as the theater the show must go on whispering pines loves christmas what do we have to lose you had me at christmas Nice there. Oh, there it is. Such a perfectionist. 
Uh, and the rehearsal went great as well. I loved seeing my costumes up on that stage. It was like my own little fashion show. Next stop, New York, a runway of your own. Yeah, I don't know if I'm cut out for that. I'm not trendy or flashy. I just think fashion should be timeless. Yeah, you should be a costume designer. I have thought about it, but I don't know. Well, listen, don't deny your talent if it's leading you in that direction. You know, well, maybe all this happened for a reason. Yeah, maybe it did. We should probably get going. It's almost time to light the menorah. And it's only two days away from Christmas. <laughs> we have traded holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they go pretty well together. Me too. Well, it sure is beautiful. You know, I can't get enough of this uh, Sifconia. Mm. <laughs> what? You're standing underneath the mistletoe. Oh. I wonder where that came from. Mom. Christmas to remember. <laughs> How could it get more romantic than that? I can't wait to talk to your mom about the wedding. When did they get back from the cruise? Cruise? I, I thought you told me they were on safari. Uh, yeah, well, they um they went on a cruise to Africa, and now they're there on safari. So. They're, they're, they're very adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I left them a voicemail. I hope that's okay. You called her. Yeah, there's not that many Reinhardts in New Haven. It is where they're from. I just wanted to introduce myself and wish them a happy Hanukkah. Oh, well, Ethan's mom is going to be so surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're on holiday? Almost done, almost done. Mom, we're almost out of eggs. No, there's more than soup. It's getting better. Mm, I, <laughs> I love you, Dad. Uh, I love you. <laughs> this is as merry as Christmas gets. Hmm? <laughs> Not for this guy. Oh, no. So what's cooking? I am making potato latkes for Hanukkah. Look at all this crispy golden goodness. Uh-huh. When do we eat? Wait, wait. Have to have the full effect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold this. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Applesauce and sour cream. Uh, we've got Christmas in one room and Hanukkah in the other. How does a holiday get better than this, huh? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Not only green in summer's heat, but also winter snow and sleet. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. That one was for you. Oh, the Christmas tree. This <laughs> is for you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're a bit taller than Roger, so I lengthen the sleeves. What? Well, you and I have gotten pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, we've become very good friends. Friends. Don't kiss like that. No. No, they don't. Brooke! Do you need any help with the costumes? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, I pretty much need help with everything. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, uh, I gotta make a call. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, uh, honey, would you grab that for me, please? Uh, sure. 
Is Larry there? Who's gone? It's Joel Parker. Oh, hi, Joel. So, how's it going with Brooke? I'm just oh, so look, curious. Look, I gotta, I need to talk to you. Oh, really quick. okay. It's Joel. Yes, thank yes. you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Good. Uh, listen, I have some good news for you. Uh, you're still in the running. Although with some big competition, but my money's on you because you were a movie star in the making. I'm an actor, Larry. Yeah, but to me, you're both. So, okay. Yeah. Exciting. Fingers crossed. Definitely. Okay, talk soon. Bye. His name was Joel Parker. What? Uh, it's gotta be a mistake. No, he said he was an actor. An actor? Yeah. Oh, okay, let's let's just do a quick search. I'm sure it's probably nothing. That's him. That's our Ethan. You mean Joel Parker? Why would he lie to Brooke? Yeah, and why pretend to be an architect? Walter? Hmm. I just. I just got a call from Ethan's mom. And when I brought up the wedding, she had no idea what I was talking about. Sweetheart, Ethan is not who he says he is. What do you mean? Oy vey indeed, am I right? Uh, Brooke's fiance is a fraud. <gasps> oh no! Walter, she is gonna be crushed when she finds out. Well, at least that mystery is solved. Mm. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? I have to go on tonight, and all I can think about is you and me and how to tell your family the truth. Yeah, I can barely look them in the eyes. I hate feeling like this. Well, there's no good time to tell them. Might as well be now. You've been so kind, but... There's something you need to know. That your real name is Joel Parker. Why would you lie to us? Please don't, don't blame Joel. This is all my fault. You knew about this? Wait, why would you do something like this? Because I was tired of coming home for the holidays and always being the only one alone. <sighs> and you thought this would be better, hmm? Listen, I know that I know that this sounds crazy, but when Ethan and I broke up. So hang on, there there actually is an Ethan. Yes. And you all met him. The other Ethan is the real Ethan. I am very disappointed in both of you. I'm so sorry, Donna. I am too. Said, there's something I need to know. How do you really feel about my daughter? I care for her. With all my heart. How do I know you're not acting? Not that good. I know. I just saw your commercial. I have not forgiven you. Not yet. I don't blame you. <laughs> yes, well, I am your mother, and I have a job to do. What's that? I have to help you sort this out. Honey, how do you really feel about Joel? I don't know. I think you do. He's everything I wanted Ethan to be. And he loves my family. <laughs> 
I think he might love Christmas more than I do. <laughs> so then what are you so afraid of? Getting hurt? I felt the same way about your father, and look how that turned out. I really think this guy is worth the risk. for so long. Can we open the presents now? Oh, dear. Let's just wait a few more minutes, okay? He's not coming home, is he? Oh, darling, don't give up hope. At the very least, both of you need to know your father is here in spirit. <sighs> You're here. My wish came true. I have spent many of cold days and dark nights wishing to be back in my family's warm embrace. It's a Christmas angel. I made it for you. <laughs> my Christmas angel is right here in my arms. Merry Christmas, Father. And Merry Christmas to you, my darling girl. I'm finally here. <sighs> With the ones that I love, you are my home. And you are my heart. Can we open the presents now? <laughs> <laughs> Really good guy. <laughs> Costumes by Brooke Miller. Yay! That's my daughter. I cannot thank you enough for these costumes. They're beautiful. You look stunning. You have to keep this. Brooke. Yes? You have some fans that wanted to say hello. Sarah and I go way back, all the way back to our summer stock days. Oh, wow. I'll let you talk. Okay. Sarah insisted I join her at this quaint provincial production. And I'm very happy she did. It was beautiful. Far exceeded my expectations. Thank you. I had no idea how talented you are. Your sketches were impressive. But this was stunning. I would be proud to have you as part of my senior design team. Really? Wow. Thank you, but I don't think that's something I want anymore. What is it that you want? To be a costume designer. Well, you already are. <laughs> I suspect we'll be working together very soon. I hope so. Oh, acting you were amazing tessa you mean the world to me and i really hope that you can forgive me yeah i, I hope you can forgive both of us what do you mean well uh acting is is for the stage not in real life and i was pretending to be someone else my, my real name is joel but but i want you to know i meant every word i said to you well whatever your name is you're okay with me <laughs> Telling the truth is really important. And I promise I will always tell you the truth from now on, okay? Is he really your boyfriend? Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> For what it's worth, I approve. Thanks, Dad. For what it's worth, me too. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go home now. Good idea. Um, See you come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hot chocolate. Ah. Uh, oh. Sorry. It's okay. It's Larry. Go. Hi, Larry. Hey, Joel. Uh, listen, I'm sorry. The director got nervous and decided to go with a bigger name. Well, I. I won't say I don't care, but you know, I, uh, I think I'm gonna be just fine. Okay, well, I feel awful. 
A week ago, this phone call would have been a lot harder. So much has happened since then. Hmm. Well, I'll take my cue from you. If you're OK with it, so am I. And that's your friend talking, not your agent. Happy holidays, Larry. Happy holidays, Joel. What did he say? I didn't get the role. Uh, the director went with a, a bigger name. Oh, he's making a huge mistake. I didn't realize how good you are. You were so moving in the play. You know, I didn't get the movie, but maybe I got the girl. I want you to have both. You know, being here uh, just taught me a lot. I, I, I don't want to take unforgettable roles that I, I don't care about. I'd rather do community theater, wait for something I believe in. Good for you. Well, how about you? What are you going to do with all your talent? I'm going to be a costume designer. I think it's time I start following my heart. You know, uh, New York's only two hours away. <laughs> I could see myself living here someday. This Christmas has brought so many gifts. How about we go spend some time with the family? Okay. Your nose is really cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> incredible in here. I could smell the brisket all the way down the hallway. <laughs> I, uh, I have kind of an announcement. Every year, it's been a tradition in our family that I, I carve the Christmas turkey. This year, I think it's time to pass the torch. Glenn? Oh, um, <laughs> wow, I've been waiting like 15 years for this. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Dad. Dad. So, Dad, how exactly do you carve a turkey? I... Mm. So, Tessa, do you like your gifts? I got this one for Hanukkah and this one for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I love them both. What about you, Brooke? What did you get for Christmas? I already have everything I need. Oh, well, I did get you a little something. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Absolutely perfect. I can't wait for you to meet my family. This is nothing. <laughs> Come on, everybody. It's Christmas. And Hanukkah. Let's eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>